All right, all right, and thanks for stopping by. I got some big news, big changes. So uh, a few days ago, I posted that video about I'm going through South Dakota for my mailing address and my van registration and all that good stuff through America's Mailbox. Well, I'm canceling that. I don't need it. Let me tell you what went down. I just got off the phone with the Davidson County Clerk's Office in Nashville, Tennessee, where my address is already established through a UPS store mailbox and my van is already registered and they have done away with the emissions testing as of february 5th we no longer need it so when my van license plate renewal comes up in june i can do it all online they can uh, send my license plate to my ups store address and then the ups store address can send it to wherever i am in the country so I am in the process of canceling America's Mailbox. I don't have to deal with re-registering the van there and then eventually having to get a new driver's license from South Dakota. I don't have to do all that. And you can probably tell from the sound of my voice, I am excited and relieved. It's been a big process getting all this stuff established. So I just called America's Mailbox they have already processed my credit card, but they still haven't done everything that's required for establishing my mailbox address there. So they're in the process of canceling that out and giving me a refund. I'm just super excited. Oh, so here's the campsite. This is still uh, north of Tucson. My friend Cherish came to visit me. We've been camping together for a few days. She had to go into town get some supplies and I think she's going to go do some laundry but uh, here's the here's the way we set up our campsite we had a fire last night I found a dead choya over here on the ground and we burned it and this stuff burns really good the only problem is um, it stinks after you put it out <laughs> it smells pretty pretty pungent so I don't think we'll be burning that anymore so now I'm thinking about, um, my plan now is um, I was going to go down uh, Monday to visit my dad for a week or so, and now I'm kind of thinking I might head out tomorrow, which is Friday, a day early, because I want to go through Saguaro National Park, and I want to kind of meander, I want to, it'll probably take three, four days to uh, travel all the way from the Tucson area to the Columbus, Georgia area. And I'll just be sleeping at truck stops along the way. I might use iOverlander to find some good places to pull off and sleep. I don't know. I'll just play that by ear. But today I just wanted to tune in and tell you, um, if you're going to do this nomad thing and you happen to be in Davidson County, Tennessee, already established you don't have to change a thing my friend you see every other county in Tennessee had already uh, done away with the emissions testing except for Davidson they were the last holdout because that's the big county right in the middle of the city of Nashville but as of what a week or two ago that is no longer in effect they have shut it all down so uh, gosh I just feel like a weight has got off my shoulders. I don't have to deal with all this stuff anymore because I've already got a driver's license established in Tennessee. I've already got a mailing and residence address established through the UPS store mailbox. Everybody accepts that except for my bank, but I use a friend's address for my bank and they're cool with it because I only get one piece of mail a year from the bank and it's usually just something I already have in digital format anyway. So I'll tell them, you know, shred it, put it in a drawer or something. I'll see you next time I'm in Nashville. But now I'll probably only be going back to Nashville about every two years, you know, just to see friends. But um, I may make a trip through there after I leave my dad's house because I kind of take, I kind of need to take I 40 on the way back out west anyway 
and I 40 runs right through Nashville. But if I went through there um, this early, I still wouldn't have been able to re register my tags and get my emissions testing if that was still a thing that needed to be done because you can only do it 90 days in advance. And my tag doesn't expire until the last day of June. So I, I just, I'm done with that. Um, just excited that that's one thing that's been a hassle this whole time. It's, it's always been a, a problem and a, something that's weighed on my mind. How am I going to get this figured out? And this also means uh, I don't have to change health, health insurance plans. Because the health insurance plan I have right now is a good plan. It's, it's bought from healthcare.gov. And it's all state-based. So it's from a Tennessee plan. It's uh, Bright Healthcare which is similar to Cigna and Aetna, that kind of thing. I've already got that established. It only cost me $18 a month due to the um, stimulus pa bill that passed, uh, what, last year? Where there are um, incentives to get your health insurance. And so my premium before the stimulus passed would have been over $500 a month, and now it's $18 a month. The oil and gas companies have always got subsidies from the government. Well, now you and I are getting subsidies from the government in our health insurance premiums. So it's about time they help the average guy out. So I don't have to change anything. I'm all set. And come June, all I got to do is get on the, the website for the Davidson County Clerk's Office, do it all online. Pay by credit card. It's all done. Oh, and I just stepped on a Choya. Good thing I got these decent um, hiking shoes on with a good thick rubber bottom. See that? Choya didn't go through this time like it did when I was wearing my tennies. All right, guys. Um, that is it. Thanks for tuning in to hear the good news. And take care. Be well. And smash that bell.